Mr. Saz64 here, and today we're going to be unboxing the Canon EOS 650D from Digital Just a bit of background on the delivery time for this. This was ordered on a Monday and was delivered on a Thursday. Uh, unfortunately today is Friday when I'm unboxing this. You guys have seen this on a Monday, uh, which is a little confusing. But basically I wasn't here yesterday and I had to leave a note for them to actually leave it in my front porch. Which I know is a bit risky but... You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do just to get some equipment in. So this camera is going to be used for my videos. I'm just going to start uh, unboxing it now. So it's going to be used instead of my camcorder, my Hitachi camcorder, which is currently recording this video. So the specs of this camera is that. If I can just cut that open, uh, this contains an 18 megapixel AS APS-C. CMOS sensor uh, with a Digic 5 image processor. So this is going to give you 5 frames per second uh, compared to the 600D's 3.7. Uh, the ISO range is from 100 to 12,800 and is expandable to 25,600. This obviously does full 1080p uh, HD movie mode with continuous autofocus. Now, the lens I've actually got with this is the uh, stock 18-55 IS-2 lens, uh, but the for autofocus, sorry about the ripping there, so if you want to do autofocus, what you're going to want to do is buy an STM lens. Uh, now, normal lenses, I believe, are called USM lenses, whereas the STM lenses are stepper motor lenses, so it's really quiet uh, and really fast to focus in. So I'm not going to have that right off the bat, so I'm going to have to manually focus. So it's got a 9 point all cross type auto focusing system. Obviously, that's for the photography side, I believe, not both the video and photography. Uh, and it's got multi shot noise reduction. So as you guys can see, this is really well bubble wrapped. This come all the way from Hong Kong, and you can probably see it says digital rev there. It's come all the way from Hong Kong, really well packaged and delivered by HDL. So we're going to get into this bubble wrap now. See if I can uh, just cut some tape here. I just want to be careful with this. The current retail price for this camera is £499 here in the UK. Uh, obviously that's going to fluctuate quite a lot. Sort of, It's fluctuated a lot lately uh, and I got it at a pretty good time. So just check the link in the description below. Uh, Digital Rev is the cheapest place you can find it. I always sort of check between Amazon and Digital Rev, uh, but Digital Rev is a lot cheaper in this instance. So go and check them out below. Also, the Amazon link is going to be below, just in case uh, you're not too happy about it coming from Hong Kong, but you are going to have to pay a bit more. Okay guys, so after a lot of fast forwarding and a war with bubble wrap, I'm finally here and I've also found that this inside, uh, which I'm just going to open that up, not quite sure what it is, I think it's like a lanyard type thing, but I'm not sure why they've included this, obviously it's nice they have, but uh, let's see, okay, so it is just a little blue and white lanyard. Not sure why that's in there, but still that's uh, nice to have, I suppose. Okay, so taking you around the box, we've got Canon here. We've got all the specifications, uh, which you can find either on Digital Rev, Amazon, or Canon's website directly. That link will be below to uh, Canon's website. EOS 650D, the EFS 1855 IS2 kit lens. Just an overhead uh, top side view from for you there. Okay, so the side we've got Canon EOS 650D, we've got the lens and just a few little specs. Uh, and obviously this is it with the lens. Bottom is obviously blank. Side has just got a sticker saying what it is. Um, just got body number and stuff like that. And the other side I presume is the same. Okay, the other side. Just as your contents, which we're going to find out in just a moment. So we're going to open this up now. I believe there's a lot of stuff in here, so uh, please bear with me. 
Right, what I'll do is I'll zoom out ever so quickly. Fuck oh, crap. Okay guys, so a quick jump cut there. I uh, just had to sort of move that side. Just because I want to sure if I get everything in frame. Okay, so certificate of warranty. So it's a digital rev one year limited warranty. So I've got two of those. I don't know why I've got two. Okay, we have got the EOS Digital Solutions Disc uh, for Mac and Windows or PC. The software instruction manual for Mac and PC on a disc. Okay. Actually, this is laid out uh, slightly differently to the other unboxings I've seen. Everything's sort of slightly different. Because we've got our huge, thick instruction manual just over there. Okay. Uh, just some Canon, oh, some uh, Canon pamphlets or leaflets, just about uh, macro lenses and image stabilization lenses, and stuff like that. That's just blank. I'm not sure what else in there. Uh, and flash classroom. So they've given you. A few little starting tips, that's always nice to have. Move that along there. Okay, so we're going to start on this side. We have got the Canon EOS strap. Let's get this out of here. Not sure how comfortable this is going to be. If it's not comfortable, I will obviously order uh, a slightly better one or a smoother one. Okay, so the inside is slightly leathery, so that should be quite nice and comfortable. So we've got Canon on here, Canon again, and EOS digital. So that's just going to clip onto my 650D, which I've definitely used that thing all the time, uh, just for added security if nothing else. Okay, so we've got our UK main wall plug. Obviously, if you order from the US, because I know a lot of my viewers are from the US, you'll get a US plug, and it'll be called the T4i, I believe. There you go. Don't quote me on that, you might have to check, or just order from Amazon or anything. Okay. So we've got a mini USB cable, probably for transfers I would have thought uh, if you don't have an SD card reader in your computer or you just don't have an SD card reader at all. Okay, that's that. Next up is the battery charger. I like how this is all laid out in the box by the way, great presentation by Canon. Okay, so that's that. So that's obviously what the UK... Uh, Mains wall charger is for. We've got the battery here, which is the LPE8 battery pack. There you go. Nice little size. I'll put that in in a minute. I'll leave that there. Actually. Here we've got our 18 to 55 millimeter IS lens. Get this out. This is a lot smaller than I uh, thought it would be. I guess we've just got the Canon body cap there. Take that off and you've got the 18 to 55. Obviously we've got our other cap, which I don't really want to take off because of uh, dust issues. Just got the zoom motion there. Uh, that's nothing too special. We'll stick that on the camera in just a moment. And the final thing in the box is the body itself. The 650D, so I can move this all off to one side and zoom in once again. Okay, let's get this out of the bubble wrap. They've even put bubble wrap around this, uh, so they really have protected this thing. So it has come a long way. Definitely come a long way. Okay, so a nice little cloth here, containing the 650D. I've heard people say these are like the things you put in washing machines. Um, just for dust and stuff, I think. Okay, so initial impressions of the feel. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Obviously, I've got to add the lens to it um, and stuff like that. But okay, so on the front here, we've got Canon, we've got the body cap, the uh, lens release, flash button on the side, EOS 650D. On the side here, we've got our ports for a, I'm not sure if I can open that now. We've got the ports for an external microphone, which I will be buying the Rode Video mic real soon, and a remote shutter, uh, if you want to plug that in, unless... You buy the RC06 or something like that, which is Canon's own uh, version. We've got HDMI out and AV digital out. Okay, 
So the back we have got our menu button, information button, obviously that's if you want to adjust the optical viewfinder. The... I'm not sure what that button is. I really don't know what that is. Uh, well, I'll find out. We have got all of our uh, aperture buttons, our set buttons, playback button, trash can, our zoom here so we can zoom in and out on images. Up top we've got the mode dial, the ISO button, at the I'm not sure what you call that, the clicker wheel thing, uh, the on, off, or video mode. And we've got up here two stereo mics. So uh, that's about it for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lens on a minute, so if you just bear with me. There we go, so that's clipped in now. So that's what it looks like with the lens on. This thing looks like a beast. So we've got our 3 inch, where's the 3.2? I think it's a 3 inch articulated. LCD screen here. So this is a touch panel. Let's see if I can put the uh, the battery in. Oh, by the way, we've got the SD card slot there, and the battery is down here. Just a little flat. I did buy alongside this. Uh, actually, this from Amazon. I bought a 32 gigabyte class 10, 45 megabytes per second uh, memory card. Let me just try and get these two in a moment. Okay. And it's on. It's actually a little bit of power. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, zoom in for one final time. Okay, so I just got to go through a little setup here. Uh, London, yeah, that's fine. Will it do it itself? Oh, I got some time today. Okay. So, what is it today? Don't know what the date is. The twenty second. Touch screen feels really responsive, like a quite like an iPhone screen. Twenty thirteen. The time is. Oh God. What is time? Fourteen. I'm just going to wait, oh there it is, I was just waiting for the uh, time to change, uh, -da -da. okay so it's on intelligent auto, so that looks like we're all set up, the battery's got a little bit of power, that seems okay. Just getting the grips with everything here, so what if I go to manual? Okay, so I can uh, set everything here in manual mode, but I'm going to use Intelligent Auto just for the time being. Scene Intelligent Auto. So it's on, Auto Focus, Stabilization's on. The zoom's very quick actually, it's already popped up. The, uh, the focus star is very quick. Okay, we've just got a little display of what it looks like there. So uh, this was really good, really snappy, put it in video mode, and uh, it's trying to automatically focus all the time, right now, let's see if I can, okay so it's not actually that bad to focus, it is a bit slow, I will have to buy an 18 to 135 STM lens, uh, you can also do tracking here, so if I try and track something, not quite sure how to do that yet, but if I try and track something, it will in fact track it. That's a bit close. See it moving there. Anyway guys, this uh, unboxing has gone on for long enough. I'm sure you guys are starting to get bored, so sorry about that. But thank you if you did stay tuned. Check out all the other links uh, down below. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share. Check out the guy that made my intro. His link is in the description below. And make sure you stay tuned to this channel because there's going to be a lot of videos made with this 
and I'm hoping to make myself more professional. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace. Compared to the barely there case, uh, which is just £10 left, we've obviously got a lot.